Hello, I'm Eric from Ion Software and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to turn an image like this into a 3D animation like this using a couple of Fusion tools and of course Fusion's 3D space. So let's start right away. On this image I use three polygon masks to mask off this area because I want to get rid of this white over balloon area here and turn it into a night shot as you've seen. So with these masks here I push up the part of the building and I push it up again and I push it up once more to basically close out this part of the street here. Then I take another polygon mask and a brightness contrast to match the overall luminance roughly at least to what's already in the shot. So then another brightness contrast to turn down the saturation and a color curves to crush the whites and add a bit of contrast to give me an, imp an impression like this and another color curves to add to the blue and subtract from the red so I have this nightish look here. So when it's dark on the outside people tend to turn on the light on the inside because they want to read the newspaper. That's why I take my Luma key and key out this row of windows here. Again, masking off the Lumic here with a rectangular mask. Two more rectangular masks and another transform actually pushes over three of these windows to the right side and then I use another rectangle mask to get rid of this window here because I didn't like it too much and I wanted that nice irregular look here. Then another polygon to mimic the light spill off the windows on the floor and two more polygons to get that light from the downwash lights at the hallway. So with the mask set up like this it's quite easy to turn on the light in my scene so I go from here to here just by using that mask stack and with a colored background I have full control about how the light should look. Well, this is more like invasion from Mars, but uh, let's get back to that color here. A soft glow helps for the overall impression of light actually coming out there. So, but still this is a 2D image and I can't do very many things with it, but I can now take it into our 3D compositing space. And I do that by simply using a camera to project the image on the inside of a cube like so. So my camera now acts like a slide projector and the image is projected into this cube. So what does this do for me? I can now switch to another camera and actually start moving into my scene as if it was a real 3D scene. Remember we're coming from a 2D image. I don't want to build a first action shooter here but we can do all our subtle camera movements like so and get the parallax right which wouldn't work with a plain 2D image. So let's switch actually to this camera which I already animated and let's imagine we want to make this into a opener for a TV series. Let's call this TV series London Secrets because I took this photo in London. So take a text plus type in London Secrets, connect it to a projector and then project it again into our scene. And of course this could as well be Toronto Secrets or maybe Paris Secrets. Wherever you are you see it's pretty international. Let's go back to London Secrets because I'm used to actually see London on the screen. So one thing that's missing is that the light is not interacting at all for example with the window sills or with the boardwalk here. As you might know we can import 3D geometry from other programs like for example FBX geometry, OBJs, but we also have our 3D primitives directly in Fusion. So like planes, cubes, spheres, cylinders, basically everything you know as primitives from your favorite 3D application is also available in Fusion and that allows me 
to build a very very simple very rough setup here for the window sills and the boardwalk and here for the uh, for the actual hallway so if I now connect this here to my projection setup you see that the light actually now runs around the window sills interacts with the hallway here and with the boardwalk so that's basically it thanks for your time and uh, hope you had fun